This is the Blue Room here at the American Jazz Museum here at 18th and Vine District in Kansas City, Missouri. This little location, this venue, this museum space, this is actually a part of the American Jazz Museum. This space right here is going to be the space I'm going to be presenting in for Global Entrepreneurship Week, Kansas City. So this is kind of a uh, unique uh, opportunity for me to give you guys a uh, behind the scenes look of what I'm actually doing and strategizing. Now I tell you this, I don't have anything crazy special or you know any stunts that I'm gonna be giving you guys, but uh, I thought I'd give you a little, you know, insight maybe a little sneak peek at what the venue looks like because truth is i had no idea how many people were going to sign up for my event and you know what ended up happening i got so many people that signed up they took me from a small room literally across the street and put me over here in a jazz museum because i've got literally hundreds of people coming i literally think there's only going to be standing space but look let's, let's, let's be realistic here most people, when they, you know, they, they fall behind schedule, they can't go to something, whatever. I get that. I'm probably going to only get half the people. So maybe, you know, maybe we'll get 100 people. Uh, maybe I'm just wrong altogether. But I know this. As many people signed up, I got some attention out there. And that was my goal. All right. So let's take, let's just take a look at this grand event venue. I mean, I appreciate these guys immensely. I just came into the museum. And you know who I ran into here? Quentin Lucas, the mayor of Kansas City. Yeah, me and Quentin go back uh, a little ways. And I'll tell you how. Because when I was working with Jermaine Reed, one of my good friends, I met Quentin. And uh, I'm going to tell you, Quentin Lucas is a good, good guy. So anyways, I wanted to take this opportunity and show you everyone what this event looks like, what this venue looks like. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So this is an actual jazz museum, all right? And if you, if you ever heard the names like, I mean, think of the old guys. The old guys used to do jazz. You know, Count Basie, you know, we got the, the Blue Devils. I'm, I'm making this video about jazz instead of uh, my event, but that's all right. But, uh, the different people in American jazz history, especially the African-Americans, they were such pioneers that did music. You can't help but to love them because you know what? They were so awesome. You really think about it. I'm a big jazz fan myself. I think you guys know that. Anyways, because I listen to it usually on Sunday nights as I re strategize for the morning attack of Monday morning. Anyways, look at all this stuff they got here. Just incredible. I mean, just this phenomenal museum they got here. I mean, it's really world class. This is kind of like their. Uh, I mean, look, look at the, the love on the walls. That took time. That took real time. The, the, the money they poured into this. I mean, this museum is incredible. Let's go look at some of these people. I mean, look, I, I, I'm, I'm blown away by this event space. I thought it was just going to be, you know, real bland. That's it. No. No, they, they put me in here. So that's a brilliant. That's a real vote of confidence. Anyways, look at all these, these guys on the wall here. Look at these. I mean, the names, the names. The Lawrence Keys Orchestra, all right? Curtsy Foster, all right? The Flamingo Cub Jam Session. Just incredible, right? So anyways, this is my event space. They're gonna have people in. I guess this is where they say, ah, we'll just throw them in there. <laughs> and this out here is the actual Jazz Museum. Really interesting, right? And this is called the blue room yeah this is where i'll be monday morning 10 a.m look at this the art on the walls just incredible right look at the tables look at these tables i don't know what this is but it's a spinning wheel beetle i don't know what that is but it's art and tables, I guess you call it. So let's get me, uh... oh, here we are. I 
think that makes for a better eye. I think that makes for a better uh, venue. The light's better on that. I think I'll have me a camera right there, camera right there. And truth is, they're gonna have cameras all over here because they, they're, they're interested in what I got to say. Because over the past, what is it, couple of years, I've been really reaching out to the community and making my mark. A lot of people are wondering how I've done it. A lot of people have wondered how I was able to get the attention I was able to get. Hey, we got some folks, you wanna get in this? You wanna be famous? Come on up here, come on up here. We got some visitors here. What's your guys' name? What's your guys' name? Keon. This is Keon? Cardale. And what? Cardale. Cardale? Cardale. Cardale, of course. <laughs> yeah, what you guys do? What, you, what, what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade? Seventh grade. Seventh grade? Yeah. That is awesome. You guys just hanging out? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing right here. Monday morning, I'm gonna be up here talking to a group of Kansas City entrepreneurs. And I came to do a video to show everyone what exactly the event space will look like. So that's why I'm up here looking silly. But you grab it silly. There you go, see? I love when people are honest with me. I appreciate you guys joining me. I just wanted to give you a, a walk around the space I'll be in, and I hope you come out and support me and see me, because I got some really interesting information for you guys out there. Because look, let's face it, people wonder how I got so much attention in such a short span of time. And it it's clear, and I'm gonna give that to you. So what is it exactly I'm gonna be giving to you guys? Well, one, how do you find secret email addresses for decision makers? How do you get their attention? Because look, let's face it, you could send an email all day long, but guess what? More than likely, they're not gonna pay attention to you unless you know how to get their attention. Number two, how do you bust through the noise? How do you bust through the noise? All right, we have no marketing dollars left, all right? Number three, what's preventing you from getting in mass media? And I'll tell you, it's yourself, right? And I'm gonna be giving that to you as well. How do you get mass media? How do you extend the dollars of your advertising? All these things I'm gonna be giving to you, these entrepreneurs, literally at Global Entrepreneurship Week on Monday morning, November 18th at 10 a.m. I appreciate you guys. My name is Jamison Sharp. They call me Doc, of course you guys know me. Anyways, I'll see you Monday morning. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you there.